Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's Saturday morning. I'm doing some chores, so you may hear the dryer thump, 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 and I apologize for that. This is real life, y'all. This is a no fancy cooking show. This is me in my pajamas getting ready to make you some tomato soup. Come on in. Sit down a spell, and let's make some tomato soup. So here I have some fresh tomatoes I chopped. Um, our regular customer and veterinarian, Doc, brought me these tomatoes. We call him Doc. Um, and the kids were shocked when they actually heard his first name. It was hilarious because their whole life, and my whole life, I've just called him Doc. Doc Sims. He's a veterinarian. So anyway, he brought us these beautiful tomatoes. Look at these. Um, I saved some back after I washed them for salad. I want to make a big, delicious salad tomorrow. But the rest of these, I'm going to make a quick tomato soup. So easy, easy and simple. Anyway, it's cold here in Southern Ohio this morning. I'm loving it. It's wonderful. So back to the tomatoes. We're just going to hit them with some salt. I'm going to pour on with some onion. Now, if you don't want to do the onion, do some onion powder. These are little chopped onions I had up in my fridge. And then I'm going to do some garlic, minced garlic. Sprinkle it on. I've got my little toaster oven heating to 400 degrees. We're gonna throw these in the oven. These are gonna smell amazing. Basil. Now I don't have any fresh basil, so I'm just using the dried. Fresh basil will be amazing. I don't have any on hand. All right, so that's it, 400 degree uh, toaster oven. I'm gonna give them probably about 15 minutes and then I'll be back to show you what we're gonna do next. So our roasted tomato mixture just came out of the toaster oven. I gave it about 20 minutes. I poured it all into my saucepan. Now I'm going to use my immersion blender. Now this will be a great Christmas gift. Actually, I requested this last year for Christmas from Brock. If you don't have one, you can put it in a, um, blender or a food processor or even hand mash it so my cord's not long enough so i'm going to blend this up and then i'm going to come right back so i want you real quick to see what i did next i used the immersion blender and blended all of that up then because you know i have diverticulitis i strained those seeds because y'all i don't want to be in the er this weekend so there are my seeds and i just put my sieve right over my bowl and rain it through and now I have that delicious uh, tomato broth minus those nasty little seeds now I'm going to show you the next step to this tomato soup okay so we're on to the next step here I've got a couple tablespoons in my saucepan of butter I'm going to make a quick roux to thicken up our tomato soup we don't want it too runny so to that I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons of butter now you could use cornstarch if you want, but I'm just gonna do the old hillbilly method here and make a little quick roux. That's all you need. Don't want it to burn. Just gonna give it a couple seconds here. Thicken up. Looks like we're good. We're gonna come in with our tomato juice here from those fresh roasted tomatoes. Give it a stir here. Get it all mixed in together. I'm gonna give it a minute here. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in. Give this a minute. Give it a stir here for a minute. Now I definitely know it needs some salt because we only put a little bit of salt in while we were cooking those tomatoes down. We're gonna hit it with some black pepper. Okay. Give that a stir. Let me give it a taste. Got a clean spoon here. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that's so delicious. I love canned tomato soup, but if you can make it fresh, even better. I have a cup of chicken stock here. I think I'm gonna add about a half a cup. That's gonna enhance those flavors even more. 
go. We're going to give that a few minutes to cook together. I'm going to add a little bit more of the basil. Okay. When Massa woke up and found out I was making tomato soup, she was super excited. She says she's going to make some jalapeno cream cheese or jalapeno um, grilled cheese sandwiches to go with it. That should be interesting. I'll show you that recipe in a minute or later when we have those grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay. If she's home, she's getting ready to leave, so she may not be here when we eat the soup. We may just be eating plain grilled cheese. All right. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes to incorporate and then I will be right back. All right, so I've given that soup a moment to incorporate all those ingredients. I'm gonna add in the second half of that chicken stock now. And I'm also going to add ooey. This is the best part. I'm gonna start off with a half a cup and we're gonna go from there. Half a cup of heavy whipping cream. We are making a delicious, creamy, decadent, easy tomato soup. Look at that, friends. What a gorgeous color. What a perfect soup to have for a cool Southern Ohio day. We've got that all stirred together. Now I'm gonna let that incorporate and we're almost to the finish line. We've got that soup simmering. Say that 10 times fast. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen, but of course I had to try it. Look at that beautiful collar, perfect for fall. It's kind of an orgy collar after I put in that heavy cream. And of course, I'm gonna taste it for you. Who cares it's 9.30 in the morning? Soup, soup. So good, so delicious. If you don't have any fresh tomatoes, it's not a big deal. You can get some canned whole tomatoes, do the same process and you wouldn't have to deal with those seeds. You can get really fancy, you can use some Rotel. There's all kinds of recipes you could do, but I just wanted to show you this quick version. Perfect for a cool day. Oh, so good, friends. Mm. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm gonna go finish my chores or I have to go back to work. All right, friends, 